Hi, I'm Lindsay Bishop, the Training and Media Associate at Westchester University. Westchester University is committed to providing access and offering quality education to further develop employees in ways that greatly enhance their performance and potential here at WCU. In addition to our previous undergraduate tuition waiver policy, we have passed a new manager's graduate degree reimbursement policy, wherein authorized managers will be eligible to receive reimbursement of tuition and covered expenses relating to career-relevant, credit-bearing graduate courses associated with a master's or doctoral degree. The manager's graduate degree reimbursement policy is effective beginning the fall 2016 semester. In this brief video, we will cover what courses are covered in the policy, who is eligible to receive reimbursement of covered fees, the requirements for reimbursement, expenses that qualify for reimbursement, the procedures to take to get approved, and the point of contact for specific questions or needs. So what courses are covered? Any credit-bearing course or program offered by an eligible university at the post-baccalaureate level is eligible for reimbursement. This includes graduate certificates, master's degrees, post-master's certificates, and doctoral degrees. Who is eligible for reimbursement? To participate in this program, you must be a full-time, non-temporary manager-level employee of the university who has successfully completed probationary period, currently has satisfactory performance, anticipates remaining employed by the university for a minimum of one year, has pre-approval for the graduate course or program to be taken, and is not receiving state or federal grants, scholarships, or other tuition assistance that covers tuition expenses. What are the requirements for reimbursement? In order to receive reimbursement for covered expenses, the coursework must have a direct relationship to the manager's immediate position or a higher level position at WCU within the current career track as determined by your division head. The coursework must be completed at an eligible institution with prior approval. Managers may complete graduate coursework at another university only if a similar course or program is unavailable at WCU. The university's chief academic officer will determine whether a similar course or program is available. The manager must receive a final letter grade of a B or higher for tuition expenses to be considered to be reimbursed. The graduate coursework may not interfere with the performance of a manager's assigned duties or conflict with his or her scheduled working hours. Coursework is not eligible for release time. Lastly, the manager must remain employed by WCU for a minimum of one year following the completion of any graduate coursework submitted for reimbursement. If the manager does not meet this condition, any reimbursements made within a year of the manager's date of employment termination are subject to repayment to WCU. Exceptions to this repayment are if the manager is furloughed, determined to be medically ineligible for continued employment, or becomes deceased within that year. What expenses qualify for reimbursement? Tuition at the WCU in-state or out-of-state rate based on your specific residency is eligible for reimbursement. This includes the tuition technology fee. However, general fees and books are to be covered by the manager. Those completing their graduate coursework at another eligible institution will receive reimbursement at the in-state rate for WCU graduate courses. Any tuition expenses above the WCU in-state rate is the responsibility of the manager. For example, WCU's in-state graduate tuition rate is currently $470 per credit. Millersville's in-state graduate tuition rate is $530.25. Therefore, if taking a pre-approved course at Millersville, you will be responsible for $60.25 per credit, $180.75 per three-credit course, and so on. While the university believes that this education assistance qualifies for exclusion from the manager's gross income, any contrary determination by the IRS or changes in the IRS tax code resulting in taxability is the responsibility of the manager. What are the procedures for reimbursement? If an eligible manager wants to take advantage of this new policy, here are some steps to take. First, a graduate course or program pre-approval form must be completed by the manager, endorsed by the department head, 
and approved by the manager's division head prior to the first day of class. If not pre-approved, the tuition may not be eligible for reimbursement. Please note, pre-approval of a course or graduate program by the manager's division head does not constitute course registration or admission into the graduate program. You must first be accepted into the graduate program of your choice. Course registration and or meeting graduate admissions requirements are the responsibility of the manager. Once the coursework is complete, in order to receive reimbursement, the manager must fill out an out-service training authorization for graduate tuition reimbursement form. This form must be fully completed by the manager, endorsed by the manager's department head, and approved by the division head for each semester at the time reimbursement is sought. Lastly, a legible copy of the billing and grade reports for the courses taken for which reimbursement is being sought must be attached along with the out-service training authorization for graduate tuition reimbursement form. Here is some contact information in case you have any specific questions or needs. To check out graduate degree courses, certifications, and degree programs offered, visit the program section of the WCU Graduate Studies website. If you are uncertain whether a course you are interested in is provided at WCU, have questions about the programs, or would like to apply for a graduate degree, contact Graduate Studies at 610-436-2943. If you have any questions or need further interpretation about the manager's graduate degree reimbursement policy, please contact Organizational Development at orgdev at wcupa.edu or 610 610- 436-3380. And for pre-approval forms, visit the forms section of the Human Resources website. Thanks for watching. If you're an eligible manager, we hope to see you take advantage of our new manager's graduate degree reimbursement policy.